And it also comes with 3D. Whoa! You can see... Annyeong everyone, thank you for watching this video. This is Ju from Soju Cars. I'm here in Hyundai Manila Bay. If you want to purchase your Hyundai vehicles, please do contact the person here in the video. And today, I have another Korean car. Yeah, this month seems to be Korean car bonanza, you know. And this is supposedly the flagship SUV of Hyundai. So let's see what it has to offer. Shijak. For me, this current unit, this local Palisade, is like similar to Kia Sorento. If you haven't watched that video, please do watch it here. And I just loved driving that. And although I don't have the spec sheet right now, this one has a 2.2 liter turbocharged diesel engine that is probably mated to 8-speed automatic transmission. And when you go inside, we can see the uh, shift-by-wire system, which is the button system like what you would see in a full spec Tucson. If you haven't watched that, please do watch that as well. Now, just looking at this car here in the Philippines, although it might be just an ordinary car in Korea, it just gives you that identity. It just makes you feel more handsome, more pretty, more premium and luxurious. That's why many people still choose to buy a Palisade because this is somewhat unique at least here in the Philippine market. It's not easy to buy this because of also the supply. Let's start with the price. This unit right here costs 3,790,000 pesos SRP. Now that's not small money, right? But then if you consider how expensive are the Alphards, are the Land Cruisers, and all these units that are sought after by at least upper mid-class people, uh, this one, has a good price. Especially this one comes with H-Track. That is what Hyundai calls all-wheel drive system. So I'm actually shocked that Hyundai Motors Philippines brought in all-wheel drive. So that is a game changer and that is actually a lot of value. The most important update for me is the front fascia. And this area, it became more uh, simple and it looks more sexy than before with the hidden air curtain right here. Just look at this daytime running light and this Hyundai full LED system with three bulbs in there. This for the high beam, for the headlight. Now with this panometric design uh, that is going across the Creta, the Tucson, and this just looks really nice because they are well hidden seamlessly. And as you can see, this is where the turn signals are. What can you say guys about the front? Uh, just look at this grill and everything. For me, it just looks uh, well planned out. It's not just an afterthought. It just looks premium. Here in front, this uh, panometric jewel front grill design. Now, it is something that is really futuristic and that is where Hyundai is going. And just the way they blacked out the Hyundai logo, you know, it just goes out of their norm. There's a hidden camera right here. But what we don't get for the local variant is we are not getting any radar sensors, which will help us with the adaptive cruise control. So that is a bummer. But then I think the exchange was 
we got the H truck. I think if I were the buyer, I would have like both of them. And in other markets, it even comes with a V6. For now, this is a 2.2 liter turbo diesel, inline four, um, shift by wire, transmission, MacPherson in front, multi-link at the back. With a 3.790 price point, uh, it does deliver thanks to the amenities that we will check inside the car. From this side, just look at this uh, rim design. This might not be everyone's cup of tea. Like, it does look more tame than um, adventurous or sporty. And it even looks like a hybrid wheel for some reason. It's wrapped in, uh, what, 24550R20s. They are huge. So if you are looking for a 20-inch rim that looks much better with this, uh, you have a lot of options out there. Uh, things to highlight, the center cap still retains the silver chrome Hyundai logo. MacPherson ventilated disc and there's a plastic trim with air curtains cooling the brake pads. And here, the side mirror is powered and auto power folding does come with this very unique uh, Hyundai Palisade turn signal or repeater also here with puddle lamp and a 360 camera with blind spot warning or detection. So that's what we want to get in a side mirror. The next level after that would be having a digital camera here. So sooner or later, we will see that in our everyday vehicles. Now in this area, uh, we do get the same size, 20 inch. Now there are chrome bits here and plastic also all around. The creases are here and the, we don't have door sensors for the second row. Multi-link suspension for the back. It is also ventilated disc braking system. And the car just feels solid with more brushed aluminum trims here and there. The window for the third row. And please tell me about this area. Hyundai's full LED tail light system. Being a luxury seven-seater, when you just hold on to the key fob, yeah, it comes with power liftgate system. The third row seats are up. There's a pad and there's a subwoofer here. And the sound system is branded. What brand is it? Let's go inside and check it out. So let's fold all the seats. And I can do it from here at the back. Press this button left and right. Yon, everything's flat. The third row is manually done. And then after that, you do have a carpet that goes like that. So the entire surface is covered. And we do have some durable material here at the back. So you won't damage this nice burgundy leather. It's really spacious. If you ask me, I'm 5'10". Like, I can camp here. You know, Korean people are now super crazy with camping. They call it chabak. Car and back is outside. You know, something like that. So they... They installed the tent and everything. And I think having this panoramic sunroof just makes it more romantic. And, you know, you can do a lot of things here if you want to. Well, this one has multi-link. So, yeah. And 4x4 four four as well. You can like go into the woods where there are no people, something like that. I love it. Everything is black interior. This is the way to go. And it does really look premium as well. You can do a lot of memories with this car. Whoa, what a nice vehicle. Lots of compartment space here where you can also leave your tonneau. If they give you one, I need to ask that. The air vents are similar with the vents that we saw in the Staria. There's a light here, it's in LED and it looks so expensive and premium, like somewhat what you would see in a German car. Ooh. So in front, the chromes are blacked out or smoked, but at the back, everything is chrome. A track badge, this one really means a lot. 2.2 liter diesel engine with reverse lamps here, fog lamp. A bit of skid plate here and dual exhaust with square tips right here. They look really nice as well. And a full-size spare wheel 
right here. Now let's open it again and see how these things are removed. Yeah, so for you to remove your spare wheel, it's a lot easier than your Fortuner and like other vehicles that you need to stick in a stick for you to put down the spare. You do have a place right here. You can do it while standing. So that's a lot more convenient in my opinion. Soon we'll get inside. <laughs> oh, I'm 5'10". Let's get inside the car. Ooh, really premium leather. Oh, it's in like red brown leather. This might be real leather or an artificial one, but power seats with leg extension as well. Whoa, this is as premium it gets. Although the Palisade skid plate doesn't illuminate, uh, I still like how classy and cozy. So this would be my driving position. Now this is one thing that's uh, not automatic and not uh, wired to the memory seat but it is tilt and telescopic for this oh the leather feels so girthy and smooth and premium and the door opens like this much see the headroom uh, you can also adjust the seat height so it doesn't matter what height you have you can always have great view oh <laughs> Second row, the door opens that much. And here we go. Captain seats. Uh, I was expecting it to have a bench type, but it is captain seat. Manual seats. Oh, that also has like assist so that it will slide automatically when you want to enter the third row. These seats are heated and these are captain seats. So it has armrests. This car has three climate zone. So you do have a separate control here and it comes with heated seats yes if the aircon too strong because the aircon is like on your face you might want to turn on the heated seat and if you want more privacy comes with this i like having my individual shades because it just helps out so much in this tropical weather and wow, the leather, all this, wow. And this suede material here, or Alcantara, just so fantastic. A bit uh, interesting that this one doesn't have a walk-in feature here for the passenger because that would have made it more complete. But they do come with USB ports, uh, rear pouches, 12 volt here. Uh, it is uh, futuristic outside and futuristic in the inside. I would have loved it if they included cooled seats here at the back because in the Philippines you would most likely be here for you to get to the third row just press the button here on top and it just goes automatically like that and you can step on this area they are really made to step on then that's how easy for you to get inside this third row of the palisade comes with this uh, microphones here uh, so it might be something that we would find in uh, carnival or staria so you can like talk to the driver and the kids here at the back speakers are everywhere type c charge ports are here the speakers really where they're situated it's amazing airbags with alcantara wow this is a flagship after all Mm -hmm. like for 3.790 uh, in the philippines usually it gets lesser specs but huge huge props to hyundai motors philippines for bringing us arguably well specced hyundai palisade oh there's also a place where you can hold just like other cars like in stargazer so like that and like that so these are burgundies so i can read korean thank god Oh, you see that? When you open the door, the seat moves backward. So if this was in power, this would have moved as well. But for this one, no. The door panel just screams premium, just like this one. And then like this soft material here. And just the leather, even though you don't touch it, you know it's going to be 
fluffy and soft and nice. All this button looks so good. I ho just hope they don't fade. But then, it is expected that it will fade if you will use it for a long time. Door, cards, cubbies, and this one's actually working. Look at the speaker, Infinity speaker. We're gonna test out the sound system later. Another speaker here. Two memory seats. Palisade. Written in Korean. See? This is legit. Okay, legit Korean car. Leg extension. Their adjustment for the lumbar. Just look at the quality of this perforated leather. This is heated and cooled as well. Just so nice. Burgundy. Pogondi. Okay, Pogondi. The accelerator is mounted on the floor like a sporty vehicle. Here, the vent, and this one just continues all the way around the vehicle. Parking brake, tailgate, traction on and off. Now, these buttons, I am not sure what they were, but I am quite curious. You can select the profile of the driver. Oh, Ooh. so what we saw in Staria, this one also has something like that. And we can also leave a voice memo. Passenger talk, so it does have passenger talk. Plenty of setups, phone projection. It has uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay, but uh, through wire only. When you change the drive modes for this one, uh, this one has more sophisticated drive modes because this is an all-wheel drive, okay, all-wheel drive. Yeah, uh, these buttons right here, since they are just in black, they do look simple and clean, but it just removes more of those uh, luxury feel like this one feels more luxury than these things three zone climate with plenty of drive mode and terrain mode so let's try to put it to let's try echo sport and smart mm -hmm. and then when you press this then it turns into terrain snow mud and sand you need to start the car so you can change the terrain mode because it requires some mechanical things to run so fully digital full digital this is like 10.25 this one is like uh, something like that as well what you would see in like the tucson this is it does it have a tire pressure monitoring system yes it has tire pressure monitoring system and as, as i can see the bars here it might even show temperature so it shows the 4x4 system right there. There you go. Um, the blue color vibe of the backlights, my favorite. Air condition, digital with auto mode. Yeah, I like this uh, Korean cars. They have auto, but one, two, three levels. So it's like a more smart type of um, air condition system. What we like is this. When you turn on the turn signal, you can see what's behind you and that's crazy every time you change your lights it's just a similar but this one has no nothing it doesn't have uh, the adaptive cruise control no lane keep assist no uh, lane follow assist none but let's hear the horn uh, the horn is really classy and i like that very much the push start button very tiny very subtle the air vent system yeah this area is not air vent but it just goes through that uh, design and it's led also for the glove box and it comes very slowly and we love that auto dimming room mirror the lighting system going on here in led and they just turn on and turn off in a very classy way like what you would see in premium german vehicles like mercedes-benz and when you turn when you open this the light turns on in LED as well and this one it extends it will help us to cover the light like that and is it just here or is it also in the passenger one two three boom so even the passenger gets to fully appreciate all the features that you get in the driver's side volume dial hazard button is huge and it also illuminates very important for me ac looks like this when it's turned on and you can also change for the rear as well shift by wire really easy it's like tick, tick, tick. so that, this is the 360 camera guys and it also comes with 3d whoa 
what if we turn on the hazard does it also turn on no but i like this one because we have the exact car and oh we do see what if it wasn't in black so oh nice quality very responsive i think i'm gonna turn off the engine first <laughs> uh, brake hold button downhill assist sensor on and off 360 blank i don't know what are the features supposedly here but it's not here but we do have ventilated and heated seats for the front row that's amazing yeah here in the center console charge options one is a usb type c and it's illuminated oh that's very important like it's illuminated so at night time you don't have to look for it just press this and we do get the cup holders see you can also hide them you can hide them like that charge option for wireless usb port oh just press this boom boom that's fantastic there's also light here so i like that the car is overall well illuminated even down here with charge ports here it is big space for you to store items oh there's just so many things to discuss for this car <coughs> okay the sunroof <coughs> with manual shade there you go so you can close that as well together with this just look at this suede or alcantara material it just looks and feels so premium airbags are everywhere on the seat on the windows the curtain this has it all oh yeah so manual windshield wiper but automatic lighting system okay so what do you think of this dash area you would you like this one better than the stargazer one like do you think they should have made it this way also or what please do let me know in the comment section below wow and we're gonna test out the sound system soon so please continue to tune in oh my goodness that's pure people say eargasm right oh my goodness i haven't even driven it but just listening to its audio <laughs> hands down this is going to be a really really competitive vehicle for those people who can afford this one fast charging or just normal charging there fast wireless charging so that's really important for many of us this is like a family vehicle so look at that you can see a fish eye view of everybody here because this one doesn't have a separate camera to see the back the door panel of the second row, sunshade, door handles, the speaker infinity, all these are leather with this brushed aluminum paint, bottle holder, just one, but you do have here two, so that's a very unusual way of designing it. Infinity, it also says palisade here, very rugged area for the people who are gonna end up on the third row. You see this is the captain seat it comes with this as well now this is also possible to open let's open that so this is for the rear so let us open that and see oh more light so that is a panoramic sunroof this one is just the normal size for the second row is huge so perfect for the people here in the philippines although many of you will say oh i'm not a fan of sunroof in the philippines and like that but still it does give you that hominess more of that vibrant side bogandi perforated heated seat this is no way um, powered but it does have a powered system where you can fold and unfold this in one touch so there's a button here you can press that 
just to make this fold so you can use it as cargo but this one when you want to enter the third row now that's easy just press this heated seats here oh very similar where did i see this <laughs> very similar to what i saw somewhere else but wow the, the moment i just turn it on the air that's coming out here like open and close the lights are in led mm -hmm. they turn on and off in a nice way but it's shaking a bit here because you know look where it is installed and just this one is like a pillow super nicely cushioned and there are usb type c ports here and also here flat considering that this is a four-wheel drive and oh this is the microphone so that you can talk to your kids if you are driving and you want to make them quiet yeah usb type c ports here and as i sat down there there's no way you're gonna lack space i'm 510 and third row was actually livable for me and that's what i think of the hyundai 2023 palisade h track so if you want to purchase this one the line is long please do contact the person in the description section below and i'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true